Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down a huge storm that is ramping up across parts of the United States and this storm is going to bring a lot more showers and thunderstorms over the next several days and this will lead to the threat of some severe weather in addition to some significant flash flooding across parts of the southern plains, the southeast United States, the Dixie Alley, the Ohio Valley and back through the northeast and we'll also be discussing our next winter storm that'll be on the horizon here very shortly. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast. And let's begin first with what's happening across the United States today. And we will begin with the large storm that we have ongoing right now. You'll notice here on the infrared imagery that we have a ton of showers and thunderstorms, especially back down near the Gulf Coast and through the Dixie Alley. And all these dark reds that you're seeing in here, in addition to the red and orange colors, that's representing high clouds cloud tops in the atmosphere and that's what we're looking at in terms of showers and thunderstorms this afternoon and evening and these are going to continue to ramp up even more over the next few days with a lot more chances for both showers and thunderstorms and that could also lead to some severe weather across parts of the Dixie Alley again the Mississippi Valley and back through the Ohio Valley I wouldn't even rule out some thunderstorms as far north as areas like Ohio out of this particular disturbance and this is all due to an upper level trough that we have sitting back over in the central and southern plains and your jet streams located right about here so that's bringing basically all that moisture it's like a big carrier basically of moisture south to north through from texas all the way back through the northeast and that's why we have so much moisture lifting up to the north and east on the flip side of things it is very dry back over in the northern plains because of a lot of convergence and also a lot of uh, cold air advection that's sitting back up there to the north and then further off here to the west on the west coast of the united states we have atmospheric rivers that are likely as we go into next week and this is going to ramp up even more showers and thunderstorms for much of the United States and it'll make the weather pattern for parts of the country very active on the flip side of things things are going to get very inactive for other parts of the country I'm going to break that down for you here in the jet stream and the jet stream gives you an idea of the weather patterns that are happening across the United States and again what I just showed you a second ago is that upper level trough that is located back over in parts of the southern and central plains and then here's your jet stream overall pretty strong jet stream from about Oklahoma back into areas like Michigan basically what that means is that we have very strong winds aloft that's what we're talking about with this a bit of a jet streak even across parts of the Midwest but what's going to happen here over the next few days is going to be quite interesting because this low pressure system is not going to be very fast it's going to move very slowly off to the north and east through tomorrow and as well as through Friday and that's going to continue those showers and thunderstorms across much of the southeast and then once we go into late Friday and a Saturday we're not done with active weather we have another low pressure system that's going to be coming across the Rocky Mountains into the Southern Plains and this one actually could bring a little bit more of an elevated threat for severe weather going into Friday and Saturday across parts of the Southeast United States specifically back down in Alabama and Georgia there is a slight risk of severe weather there right now for Saturday and we're going to be watching that very closely I'll have more details on that later in this forecast and then once we go into Saturday into Sunday that low pressure system moves off to the east and eventually as we go into Monday into Tuesday things will likely be a bit drier as we go throughout much of next week but I do think that weather pattern will become a lot more active as we head into the first weekend of February now we have a ton of watches and warnings across the United States I mean it is a very colorful map right now across much of the country and these are the main watches and warnings and as well as advisories that we have still have winter weather advisories in the northeast we also have dense fog advisories stretching from Texas all the way back through Michigan and by the way it is very cloudy across much of the United States almost the entire country is covered with clouds right now we also have flood watches in west virginia and back through areas like tennessee texas louisiana and mississippi and in terms of the cloud cover this is what it looks like right now notice there is a lot of cloud cover there are very little areas that you might even see a little bit of sunshine in the only exceptions really are the rocky mountains there's some peaks of sunshine and then back maybe in the southeast like florida there's some peaks of sunshine but again it is very cloudy across the united states right now welcome to el nino by the way that's just kind of how it goes sometimes with El Nino weather patterns. All right, let's talk more about the weather pattern that's coming over the next few days with the future radar, give you an idea of what the big storms are going to be. So going through tomorrow, we're going to continue to see showers and thunderstorms from Missouri back into the Gulf Coast. And even through the Northeast, we'll have some showers and thunderstorms. This low pressure system, in fact, will move through areas in the Ohio Valley and as well as the Great Lakes. That could lead to some showers and thunderstorms as we go throughout the day on Thursday into Friday morning. I'm not expecting thunderstorms in the Great Lakes. In fact, we 
actually might see a little bit of wintry precipitation on the northern side of that trough. We will see some snowfall as we go into Friday afternoon and evening across the northeast. Not expecting too much in terms of snowfall. By Saturday, this low pressure system in the southern plains will begin to develop more, and this is going to bring the chance for some showers and thunderstorms, perhaps some severe weather to areas like Alabama and Georgia as we go into Saturday. Don't rule out a little wintry mix on the backside of this trough back over in Oklahoma and Missouri as we go into Saturday afternoon and evening. I don't think we're going to see much in the way of ice, for example, but we might see some flurries, maybe a little bit of accumulation, but I think the chances of that will remain pretty low. Once we go to Sunday, this trough moves to the north and east, and it actually becomes a bit more intense at the surface, and we are going to have to watch for the threat of a winter storm in the northeast. New York City could even get involved in this. I will have a much more detailed forecast on this, most likely tomorrow, so make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. And then once we go into Monday and Tuesday, that moves off coast. And then as we go into next week, really nothing's going to be happening it looks like for much of next week i think next week will be very inactive at least for the work week by the weekend i think things change a little bit so stay tuned now there is the threat of severe weather three of the next four days and there is actually still a marginal threat of severe weather for today but overall this threat is starting to diminish there's mainly a marginal threat from texas back through areas in mississippi as we go into tomorrow though for tossing trampolines on tall trees thursday things do change a little bit we have a marginal threat of severe weather from tennessee back into the gulf coast the main concern right now is damaging winds there will also be the chance for a couple of tornadoes we had a couple tornado warnings today actually in louisiana and mississippi as we go into flying fences friday i'm not forecasting many flying fences overall no threat of severe weather for now don't think it's not going to change though there might be some sort of low marginal threat of severe weather somewhere to are going into friday in terms of the severe weather threat for saturday the storm prediction center has issued a slight risk of severe weather from alabama back into the atlanta metro area in northwest Georgia the main concern right now is damaging winds perhaps a couple of tornadoes as well for the next 48 hours we're dealing with more showers and thunderstorms throughout tonight this is tomorrow at sunrise plenty of showers and thunderstorms will still be out there we'll be watching for a line of storms back through Louisiana and Mississippi to produce some damaging winds might get an isolated tornado or two out of some of the storms out in front of this though back through areas in Alabama so be mindful of that this is tomorrow at three o'clock notice showers and thunderstorms continuing to move to the east by around sunset we'll still have some showers and thunderstorms storms out there but overall the thunderstorm activity starts to diminish and a lot of the rain in fact will start to diminish and as we go into friday around lunchtime there might be some passing showers maybe even a couple thunderstorms along the gulf coast but overall things will be drying out as we go into friday in terms of total rainfall for the next several days there is going to be a huge pocket here from tennessee back through areas like alabama and mississippi with upwards of three to six inches of rainfall but many areas will fall into the category of one to four inches of rain here's what we're looking at for the next 48 hours hours in the southeast notice from louisiana back in areas like tennessee we're going to be dealing with some areas between two to four inches of rain there will be plenty of isolated locations though to get that get as much as two to four inches perhaps even upwards of an isolated six to eight inch reading of rainfall here over the next couple of days i would love your feedback on the pacing of this video i felt like it was a bit slower so if you felt that way as well make sure to leave a comment down below thank you so much for watching make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already